So without a further ado, please join me in welcoming Mr. Asif Peer, Chief Executive Officer and Managing Director of Systems Limited, to deliver the welcome address. Round of applause. Assalamu alaikum and good morning, everyone. So first of all, I'm really grateful to our chief guest, uh, Governor Saab, uh, Jamil, Jamil Ahmed Saab, for gracing this occasion and taking his valuable time out for showing the importance of technology uh, and supporting systems uh, and the banking industry. So thank you, sir. And also, I would like to welcome and thank all the esteemed CEOs and the C-levels uh, who have come and taken out a valuable time from their morning schedule and joining us. So really thankful to all colleagues, all partners, all the sponsors, and Taminos especially. They flew in uh, from all over the world to share the best practices and the important, uh, importance of technology in today's world. So I'm really thankful to all of you who have joined us today. So thank you all first. And I, I would like to thank my team as well for organizing such a great event and having wonderful attendance. Like I can see no empty seats today. So thank you team and thank you everyone for joining. So, so I think um, the goal of these events are not just uh, what our goal is, right? Why we do these events yearly. We want to make sure that there is some take home value. Like we learn from the best from Taminos, from our partners, from our sponsors, and whatever we can share the best practices, we would like to share so everybody goes with few ideas after this conference. I think that's the, that's the value that what we systems we bring, and we, share, we would like to share our experience with you. So I would like to start my presentation again. I will just uh, share <clears throat> briefly that what is Again, the theme and topic is AI, but I will just share in general, like in today's world, AI is changing every business, right? So it's not just your employees, your team, your businesses in every industry. So now the question to all the leaders sitting here, are you ready for this transformational opportunity? And not just ready, but are you able to do this with, through data security, through making sure that all the controls and the processes are installed? So it's not just about the technology and AI, but it's everything. So now I will just start with like AI is frequently making big headlines in the news, especially in the global large financial, especially in the financial industry in the large scheme of things. You look at the New York Times, what they say. The generative AI biggest impact will be in the banking, right, and tech. This is known. FinTech news, the rise of AI in banking opportunities and challenges. So there are more and more use cases coming in banking and FinTech world, right? And it is not just Jamie Raman and Wall Street. Look, bank branches have big AI ambitions. Forbes, how financial services can move past experimentation with generative AI. We can share all the links to you everyone is talking about and the banking industry is at the top and the financial industry in general. So we all need to be aware if everyone is talking about it, there is something. So are we ready for it? That's what our purpose as a technology service provider and in this country leading the way that how we can create that ecosystem which, which enables you to avail this opportunity and you as leaders don't miss the boat because this is a rare opportunity in our history. When internet was invented, everybody was talking about differently. Now, AI is going to definitely disrupt the way you think. So it's up to us. We can live in the same world or we can change ourselves. So, so, so basically, like changing the game. Sorry. Changing the game, right? So this is a time horizon and the value potential. So classic banks, right? Same processes. We all talk about lowering the cost, efficiency play, optimizing it. Digital banking coming in, new processes, the same business model. Transform, of course, the digital bank transform customer experience, personalized product, service, digital data, AI, yeah, agreed. But what is intelligent banking? That is what we all need to challenge ourselves, right? 
new business strategy, new products, new segments, new services, new integrations, and expanding the art of the possible through AI and Gen AI. That is what intelligent banking is all about. So we really need to move towards high value, value potential over time horizon. So don't stuck with just the digital banking. Digital banking is there, but you have to move ahead of digital banking through AI and Gen AI and reinventing your business model beyond digital banking, through intelligent banking. <clears throat> so, so when we talk about these big terms, right, execution is critical. Like, I can talk forever about the AI, but if we can't execute, intelligent banking is again a classic banking then, right? So it's very important that foundation is mandatory. We miss that. Technology foundation is mandatory. Scalable infrastructure, whether my colleague Amara just shared, whether you go with hyperscalers or on-prem, Red Hat, whatever the cloud infrastructure, but it has to be a scalable structure. So you, because every C-level needs to have a growth mindset, you are not going to stuck wherever you are. Whether your channels are digital channels, whether your channels are physical channels, doesn't matter, your branch transformation, everything needs to transform. So this is must. Reliable data. Your data is your data. Your data is your data and your customer trusts you. So having, I think enterprise data standard is a big challenge, not to the local banks, but when I talk to Citi, JP Morgan, these type of banks have similar sort of enterprise data standard challenge. What does it mean? Control, control, data loss prevention, your entitlement policies, your renewals, how you do all of these things without the technology, because if you don't take care of your data, as I said, you should not allow your data to be used for training of AI foundation models. That is the key. Yeah, you can train your models in your enterprises with AI, but not to the outside world. So how do you protect? So this is the key challenge that every C-level needs to worry about. When you enter into this age of technology and AI, enterprise data and standard is critical. We all know that, right? Inter data gets created, the birth of the data, creating, creation of the data, then storage of the data, then public publicizing the data through APIs or whatever you call, doesn't matter, publicizing the data, then, then archiving the data, then destruction of the data. So data has its full life cycle. So if you can't have a reliable data, you can't give the confidence that your data is secure, I think we have a huge challenge in implementing anything that execution you need to worry about. Automation first approach, what does it mean? Of course, if you can't automate and you just want to run a manual process through spreadsheets and here and there and running the manual integration, it doesn't work. Right architectural approach. That's why the C-level, the CIOs, CDOs, that's their first and foremost responsibility that what is the right architectural approach? And then it's on top, I think, uh, like, Culture, like if organizations are not ready to embrace that change, if organization, then whatever you do doesn't matter. So culture, change management is the key to success. You implement Temenos and you have your legacy culture where nobody wants to bother about, forget about the AI, but digital even, then it's a cultural shift. Governance, right? As I talked about a lot about the governance, the data, protection, DLP, all of these things. And talent, I think my humble request to all of you, uh, all the business leaders with the governor's presence, I would like to say that Pakistan have produced the best bankers in the history from Citibank to wherever. I think it's our utmost responsibility. When we talk about increasing the exports of IT services, I need your help. We need your help in producing the best talent from this country. So please help us in building the talent for the core build the assets with us, build, solve the complex problem with us. You have the data. Pakistan have a unique advantage of population and young and digital penetration. So we can enable any use case in this country and export. That's how the Indian large IT companies have created when the industry, academia, and the companies like us have collaborated together. So we need your help in producing the Seminars experts, subject matter experts to technology together, 
I think we need to create sir, some framework because this is our future. If we produce the best talent, everyone will come to us to provide not just Temenos services, but everything else in the banking world and systems will be the foundation. So we need your help. Value realization is the key. Uh, I think whenever, as a C-level, whoever brings the use case to you, any use case to you in AI, you have to ask what is the value realization model? And what the value realization model? People miss that. Because now AI is a FOMO, that you need to do AI, so everybody wants to talk to about AI. But we missed asking the important question, value realization model. What is value realization model? Very simple. You identify the business use case, you define the problem, then you have to prove that, as in POC, it is generating the business value. What is my ROI? If I implement that, what am I going to save? Is it my customer experience going to improve, or am I going to reduce the fraud, or what am I going to do? What is my definition of a, uh, for use case? Then you capture the result after the POC, and then you benchmark against what you have said, this is the value I am going to get. That's your value realization model. These are the five important building blocks for value realization model. If we can't do the value realization, then AI will be just the buzzword. And we don't need the buzzword. We need to, for every investment as a business, you need to generate a value out of it. And if we can't, then it's a problem. And partnerships, that's what matters. Every bank can't think in silo that I have a big IT team and I can do it myself. It doesn't work this way. You have to partner with the technology service provider. You have to partner with fintechs. You have to partner with principals. You have to partner. I think partner ecosystem is very essential to grow, because otherwise you will limit your like 30 people team or 300 people team, doesn't matter. You have to adopt the best practices that is available through partnerships. <clears throat> so uh, AI and Gen AI trends, I'm just talking about the big things. So, and it's, I'm not talking about it. Actually, it's Accenture and Gartner. And Accenture report is in Jan 2024, so it's not like the past. So over a third of work done at banks has high potential for automation or could be readily augmented. Over a third of work, just imagine that Accenture is saying that. I'm not saying it. Gen AI market is projected to surpass 900 million by 2030. Again, it's Accenture trends, right? They do a vast strategy. Gartner is saying that market is anticipated to grow 26.10 billion in 2024 to 236 billion, that's a Gartner's projection. So 67% of working hours in the banking industry could be affected by generative AI. And generative AI, you just have to remember three things. Generative AI is for all of us, not just the bank in our daily life. There are three things. Number one, intelligent interrogation. The prompt that you use, if you inter intelligent interrogation is the key, then you will get the right answer. If your prompt are wrong, you will get the wrong answer. Judgmental interrogations, where the, you ask the question, but judgment lies to human. Then you decide out of three scenarios, I ask this question, which one is better for me? Right? Judgmental. In and then is a reciprocal apprenticeship, where you, rem you gather all the data and you feed that to your enterprise data models. So you train your AI and machine learning models. There are three things very important in this. So, <clears throat> So next is banking scenarios, right? I can come up with hundreds of banking scenarios to transform your banks. But again, execution is quick. Tra banking experience, there are three players again, three players. Experience play, efficiency play is the first one, which we all talk about. How do I optimize my banking operation? How do I reduce the cost? How do I automate the workflow? How do I automate the business processes? And so on and so forth. That is efficiency play, where you are optimizing your cost. There is experience play, where somebody walks into your digital channel, somebody walks into your branch, what is the user experience and experience play? And then there is a capability play, where you generate the new product, new offering, new services, new strategy to disrupt the incumbent banks and the classic banks. That's what we call intelligent banking, right? So, of course, you can modernize your banking core, employee experience, sustainable ESG, Risk and compliance, generating the insights, generating the risk inside, AML, fraud, deduction, AI can help a lot. But again, 
the question that you need to ask yourself, are your bank AI ready? Or you just want to talk about AI? As I said, again, there are five building blocks that you need to ask for AI readiness. AI readiness first. Number one, your business strategy. AI cannot be led by the CIOs that they want to do AI and machine learning. No, business strategy is first. Value realization model is second. Once you do that, then it comes to technology and data strategy. Then it comes to technology and data strategy. That's number two, not number one. If businesses and the sea levels are not aligned, technology and data cannot do anything, believe me. Number three, your AI strategy and experience, like is it a recurring use cases? Is your AI strategy is based on certain values and is it recurring or experience? What is the UI for it? Number four, organization and culture. As I said, without organization and culture, you can't change anything. And number fifth, governance. I talk about a lot. Data is your data. If you, if you don't have governance, an ethical AI will, not, will be a challenge. So ethical AI. So that's, that's important. So I will not go into the hyper-personalization or other stuff. We'll share that. <coughs> Sorry. So, so what we are here today, how can we make your banks robust, data-driven, AI-driven, how we can take you to the intelligent banking in today's world? If you remember, I was talking about in the last presentation about the smart cloud strategy. So it's an intelligent banking strategy this time. It's not about the cloud only. It's not about the AI only. It's about how you adopt. So we can tell it, we can do hyper-personalization, we can come up with a lot of use cases, mitigate your risk, enhance your customer experience. We can come up with so many things uh, to do that. So I will just end at a one note. Microsoft CEO Satya Nadella said that, Copilot is our UI, Microsoft UI. So my question to all the business leaders is that what is your business tra trajectory for tomorrow, and what is your UI for AI? So Microsoft UI for AI is Copilot. What is your UI? UI is user interface and user experience for AI. So what is your growth trajectory? So I'm leaving with you with this question that you need to think about. What is your trans transformation is happening? So neglecting that is not going to help. So now think about your UI for AI. That's your question for to go back, discover with my fellow colleagues, uh, and understand what we can offer, what industry can offer, what Temenos can offer, what our partners can offer, and then create your strategy. Once you are out of this room, you have to have some thinking point and strategy to act and react and improve your business. Technology spending doesn't give an expense on the bot bottom line, believe me. It's the highest ROI return that you can ever get by spending every dollar. So I will end with a note with IDC research. It's again not my data point, and it's latest research. They have interviewed so many CEOs. They said if you invest a dollar on a AI, today's companies are getting a return, $3.5 in return. And even 5% of the organization are getting $8 in return for every dollar spent. So that is the message, and it's IDC. Dollar for 3.5 for everyone, and 5% efficient companies, dollar for $8. And 92% of the companies, as per IDC, are finishing up their AI deployment within 12 months. So it's not complicated. Please don't make it complicated. Just be ready with the right AI mindset. AI first approach, and transform your banks. That's my humble request. And take country, Pakistan, to the next level. Our banking systems are very resilient. We have survived all the crisis, and I'm really thankful to the state bank governor for the regulations and controlling all of this, and all others who were participated in that. Thank you very much, and uh, I hope we have some take on value. Thank you. Thank you, everyone.